Derby Day coverage. That's fantastic, Derby yeah. Day. And then uh, Tuesday, the Melbourne Cup. Excellent. Well, we look forward to your company, so don't forget. Uh, but we have had a great week. If you just missed a smidgen of what we've been up to, I uh, would like to give you a little look. So we'll see you Monday, and you'll see him tomorrow. We'll try and find the winner for the Cup. That was the week that was. It's over. Let it go. Fifty-two times a year. The week is done and over, over before you know. You lost your sight ten years ago. You lost your wife. You brought up two young children. Uh, an extraordinary uh, story of coping. How did you manage? Oh, pretty easy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, oh, come on. Uh, you know, you just got to um, go along with it and do the best. Henry, tell me, how did your husband die? He delivered a pizza and um, he was shot dead. Literally at the front door? Yeah, it was at the back door. You have to deal with it the best way you can. Frank, has there ever been a human being that you just couldn't defend? No, no, every human being is just what you said, a human being and is entitled to the same process of justice as you are, Mike, and I am. Jim Baker and Jaja are going to jail. Welcome to the prison styles of the rich and heinous. Ex-Mr. Madonna Sean Penn was allowed to choose this small prison in Northern California to calm his temper for a month, only $50 a night for room and board. In court, Jar Jar had expressed concern about her appearance in jail. Well, if she comes here for around $10, she can have a haircut, her nails done, and even have her upper lip waxed. Prison holds the most beautiful people you've ever seen. You sit back, you sit there at the little table, the tears in the down your eyes, and you see the beautiful people, the beautiful families, having to say goodbye all the time. Darren, what, what's, what's the worst thing about being Darren Hinch? Waking up with me every morning. Uh, <laughs> ask Jackie. And somebody once sent me a whole pig's head in the mail with all the eyes blackened and the face all cut. And don't let looks deceive you. This cooch car is as practical as it is green. Now we're doing 110, this certainly was a race. Nice to know it goes just about as well as she grows. <laughs> Who wants to mow a front and backyard and then put the victor on the V-dub? While it's perhaps easy to understand the course's attraction for young men, it's a little trickier to see why a successful businessman, such as 45-year-old Malcolm Modra, seeks that extra polish. Fair dinkum, Kirsten. Do you think I should have? I mean, if I had gone to finishing school, could I have made something of myself? Our very own Mel Gibson has just taken your old title of the sexiest man in the world. Does that bother you at all? He can have it, believe me. He can have that one? Yeah, man. What did that mean? I know what that would mean to me. What did that mean to you? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard you've got some big marriage plans coming up. No, I'm not even close. And it's been a lot of them close. Dude, you know, it's, you know <laughs> it's like all these stories come up and it makes me laugh. <laughs> Well, see, you and Cher have become buddies, haven't you? Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's a, a deadly duo, I mean, you two. We never go out, that's why we like each other. You know, we, kind of, we stay home and we order in Chinese and we um, uh, watch videos. Guess what? Kimberly is just 15. That was the week that was. It's over, let it lie. Fifty-two times a year, the glad we